Now, moving on a little bit, one name we didn't hear today. All we heard was Maloney and John Bean issued a press release. Again, podcast, depending on when you listen to this. One o'clock Mountain Time, Flames are holding a press conference. True Living is not apparently scheduled to speak. It will be John Bean and, and Don Maloney. We didn't hear anything about Craig Conroy in this conversation. Um, is it safe to assume that Craig is in the mix and will be part of the process? You'll hear all that, uh, you know, how that is going to be worded and how it will be put out there. I'm sure that's the case. Uh, are you surprised that Craig just wasn't inserted as the GM today? He's been there a long time. I would say that if I was Craig Conroy, I'd be some pissed off. I don't know if I'm shocked by it because for some reason he's been pushed to the back burner. It feels like on maybe a little bit since tree came and he's brought in those other and other guys. But Craig's been here a long time, and I mean, maybe the interview process includes him, and maybe he gets the job, but I don't know what interview he has to do to prove to like they've worked together, right? Maybe it's just this is, part know, of the way. Similarly to, yeah, to, to Jeff Ward, the coach. He's the interim coach. Maybe. Uh, well, he'll, you know, we're, we're going to talk to other people and then it's, oh, he's in as a coach. He, he was the guy we wanted. All I will along. say this. The difference there was that they were paying a coach to not do his job. They're not paying a GM to not do the job here. They should have theoretical budget space to go get the best GM possible. And I hear what Rhett's saying about, you know, Connie should be insulted, but it isn't about knowing Craig Conroy. They do that. They, to your point, they know everything about the guy. What it is, is measuring Conroy against people from other organizations that you haven't interviewed. And I would be stunned if Conroy isn't a great candidate for the job and one that gets a lot of consideration. But it isn't the job of the Calgary Flames to promote people they have in the organization. It's their job to go find the best GM available. Is Craig Conroy the best GM available for this job? That's really probably the question that Don Maloney should be asking himself, no? I hear you, but I, I, I put myself in Craig's spot, and I would, I would be saying, well, what do I, what do I need to show you? What, what don't you know about me? I need to interview for this job. No, they know him. The, the, I don't think they know the AGMs in Colorado and Carolina and all these other teams. Well, I, I, that's I, what, that's listen, my point. I Bri get it. Briere, if, Drury. There's various other guys that have been handed it immediately with less, if, if, if I'm not, with less yeah, learning. Yeah. If you're not sold on me enough today, and you knew that there was a chance Brad was going to be gone. If there's, if you're not sold enough on me today, are you going to be more in a year or two or three? I get it. I get that part for sure. Like if, if Craig doesn't eventually get this job, it could feel like the end of the line. But I also think, you know, how the team has operated and it's, you know, dysfunction, we can aim higher than that in some of these things. This, this organization has a history of, pretty much only bringing in green GMs or guys that are pretty out of the game for a long time. If you wanted to put in better process than what you've had in the past, and to Rhett's point, they really haven't done anything in the last 30 years aside from one miraculous run to the final. Uh, shouldn't you look for the best human on earth for your organization? Not just the best one you, you know well. Like, would okay. you want, want to talk to Eric Tulski in Carolina or the AGM in Colorado that got all kinds of love for how he helped build that roster under Joe Sackick last year? You don't want to talk to those guys? It's, again, it's two things. I'm talking from the Conroy perspective. Yeah, yeah. I, I would be upset if I'm Craig if I don't get the job, but I would understand them wanting to talk to other organizations. It's not like there's been so much winning here. You, you just have to hand it to the next guy. Yes, other guys have been handed it. I don't know what's best practice. I don't know that Chris Drury will turn out to be one of the great GMs in the league. I don't know that Danny Brayer is going to turn out to be one. 